I want to get on to the, uh, the positive. Glass half full, what I and, uh, and uh, Port Adelaide, uh, one of the great stories. 18 months ago, they were absolutely cast. Are they a genuine top four team? This is back in uh, around 19, 2012. They uh, lose to GWS. Matty Primus gets sacked as coach. And we're talking about 10 years away from Port Adelaide being any good. There are... Uh, I don't, I don't, look, I don't want to be—I don't want to be smart after the event, but I actually thought, even then, that they had some talent. I didn't yeah. think that anyone was going to be able to produce the performances as quickly as what Ken Hinckley's been able to do. But I actually thought they had some good young players to work with, and that is the case now. If you look mm. at them as a team, the completeness of their team—they're good down back. I don't think they're great down back yet, but they've got good athlete players that spread well from back the back half, and they can defend as well. They're very good in the midfield, and they've got a side that can kick a big score. I mean, they're the second highest scoring side in the competition yeah. at the moment. They're four and one, and I think they are a genuine top four side. Well, they beat Collingwood in a final last year. They just went down to the Cats. I thought they, were, they would slide this year because I thought they'd be under a little bit more pressure. You know, second year blues for some of the young players. They've surprised me. I, I think that they are a genuine top four chance. They are very, very good. D Dust, if they could pick one type of player, what do you think they're missing right now to be that genuine top four premiership contending type side? If there was just one player they needed? So I think it's probably, you know, if you could pluck Harry Taylor out of Geelong and roll them in, into yeah. Port Adelaide, I, I think they're, they're almost the, the most competitive team in the game, just about. The beauty of that, I, I totally agree. If they had one of the a really good key defender, but... That's Westhoff. I mean, Westhoff can play forward and he can go down back and be that classy defender as well, can't he? He often goes down there during a game. But, I mean, they, uh, they're strong all over the park. Oh, yeah. They really are. Terry Pollock uh, was much sought after and, uh, and chose to go back to Port Adelaide. His numbers at Brisbane were uh, virtually non-existent. He started uh, as, a, as a pick five at the Brisbane Lions. In the under-18 system, he was a star. Uh, getting a lot of the footy, and now Port Adelaide, he has turned into the player. There he was. It's back in the under-18s. He averaged 20 disposals, and everyone who knows football says he's absolutely a pick five. Disappeared off the map. He's been at Port Adelaide for, for four or five games, and he's playing the way he always did. Well, it's another classic case of when you go to a good club and good structures and good coach, when players go there, they become better players. Mm. And we talk about the Sydneys and the Geelongs and the Hawthorns and these guys that get players from other clubs, they end up better. So, and, and on that topic, I mean, Ken Hinckley, I mean, talk about make sides better. I, I think through history over the last sort of 15 years, and I think I put Hinckley now, I know he's only in his second mm. year, but Hinckley, I mean, Lyon makes teams better. I thought Ruse did. Malthouse has done it. He did it with Collingwood in uh, 02, 03. I mean, not too many coaches make sides better. I think he's one that does. Is that